Good evening, my name is Tim Trudeau and I work with a little Southern California label called Syntex Records. Frontline was instrumental because, well first of all, when you think of Frontline, you think, okay, these guys are doing the music that's on their minds and their hearts, the stuff they're passionate about, and they're not really thinking too hard about this isn't gonna work or that kind of a thing. Since up to then, music had been pretty conservative. As far as like wide acceptance, there wasn't a lot of music that had been authentic, I guess you could say. Yeah, this is a hand teepee. As a child growing up in the church and being happy about the idea of being a Christian, like not afraid of it or any of that, Frontline was sort of the go-to. You needed um, good content. Not that every release was amazing, but you could show your friends some stuff that you were proud of and that was that was huge because in their minds it was black gospel or southern gospel. That's what Christian music was. The idea of a rock band being Christians or Christian lyrics or any of that was unheard of. Except for it wasn't unheard of, it was just not popular thought. Seeing a bunch of dudes kind of go against the grain and do it confidently and do it well gave Steve and I and Syntax and that whole thing that extra little boost we needed to like think, hey, we want to do something and we're going to just go for it. Whether it makes sense or not, if it's economical or any of that, we're just going to go for it. And Frontline, um, if they hadn't sort of done it first, then it would probably be a lot harder for labels like us to be comfortable to even give it a whirl. So Frontline was in front of everyone else and allowed the rest of us to kind of see what worked and what didn't work and give us a little bit of what to expect if we were going to embark on the world's worst business model, which is what you know, this kind of Christian music is, it's its not a good business model. I mean, we're all rich now, but that's not true. What does Frontline mean to me? What's so exciting about Frontline is maybe you didn't have the same childhood that I did, and so maybe you don't have the warm fuzzies and all of that associated with seeing it. But the cool thing is, is now you can do the research, and I don't mean Wikipedia, you can actually get out there, figure out who came from where, what was going on. Best of all, for the first time ever, the entire Frontline catalog is available on iTunes, Amazon, eMusic, other stores, and more stores through the technology. Most people who bought this music bought it on cassette and they wore it out. But now you can pick it up, throw it on your badunk, and uh, play it in your vv. Oh. Oh man, I can remember the first time that we saw the Gospel Gangsters cassette in the Bible bookstore. It looked different. At that time, all the Christian rap was like, people were still wearing the purple suits and looking all TBN-esque. And uh, all of a sudden the Gospel Gangsters look like people that if they were walking down the street, I would make sure I'm on the other side of the street so they didn't kill me. So I'm with my whole family, my mom, my dad, and my brother, and we're in our Ford Explorer, because we were rich, and my dad pops in the cassette and I remember driving around the mean streets of La Mesa, California and my dad blasting gospel gangsters and me being excited about what I was hearing but also embarrassed because I was listening to music with my parents that had the n-word all over it which was just a really odd experience for a suburban white family but it all worked out we joined a gang and uh, I never looked back. Uh, I, did I even say anything about Frontline? This will kill someone. Just this one. Wow, this is a real. This is a real sinker. How do you make palm trees not beautiful? It's all up here, right now. Like it's happening inside my head. As soon as you ask that, the challenge will be to get this to travel down and out of this for you to then bring it inside your, so that you can understand and put it through here up to here in you like that's what we're dealing with you'll see that i am no hand model but you can tell that i could be <laughs> that literally means i was blown away i haven't had one of those in a while do i have any boogers i like this um the shape of the hole it's perfect because i can even though i have tiny lips i can that and it plugs it so I could, it's not going to spill if I do this. Like it's not spilling because my lip is plugging it. So 
Mm. That means I unplugged it. Oops. What are the question? Oh, these are sharp. Who put that so close? I mean, I'll say it again, instrumental. That's a musical term. People will get that, even if they're not musical people. And they know what it means. And the word instrumental is instrumental in describing it. It's unbelievable how instrumental the word instrumental can be when you're talking about something that was so instrumental. And I don't even know the Greek roots of that word, to be honest. And I don't even think you need to. I think that the weight of it in, in American English is, is heavy. It's heavy enough to really know what that means. <sighs> Good evening. <laughs>